Well, on paper, this looks set to be an explosive encounter between Adam Watt and Tosca Pedridis. Big right hand there early on in the contest there from Pedridis. As Watt there backed against the ropes, he's going to need to watch Pedridis early. Coming through with that uppercut. Pedridis fights like a mad dog on the inside. He is the Australian cruiserweight champ. Adam Watt, the OPBF champ. Both titles are, are up for grabs. Both these men have one punch knockout power. Left hook there from Adam Watt. Fight starting at a frenetic pace. Ted Reedus there just burrowing in, digging to the body. He's no doubt aware that Adam Watt does have a bit of a suspect chin. When he gets knocked out, he gets knocked out early. Interesting to see whether he can uh, deal with the early artillery from Tosca Pedritis. What they're missing with both those punches. Third man in the ring is Brian McMahon. Oh, both men just missing with the right hand. There, really wild though with his own right coming back well with a short left hook that's where he's going to do his most effective work on the inside coming up the middle with the uppercut shortening those punches particularly the left hook what they're leading with the right a lot riding on the outcome for both these fighters both eager to crack into the world ratings. And a win tonight would see the winner do exactly that. Good jab there from Watt. He should try and use his height and reach advantage. Try and wear down Pedritis. who will be very dangerous for the first three or four rounds. Doing well there, smothering his man on the inside. Got telegraphing those punches, but comes through with a nice short left hook. Back comes Ped Redis. It's really tit for tat so far in this cruiserweight encounter. It's punch for punch. What a war this is turning out to be. Exactly how most people would have expected it to unfold and there's the bell ending a great first round as both men stare at each other Adam Watt there with a wry smile on his face and the crowd applauding a very good first round in this cruiserweight contest the second round it could come down to who's the better catcher we both know we know both of these men can punch all of Watt's victories have come via the knockout Ped Redis has scored four KOs in his eight victories both men have uh, fought Wayne Braithwaite and both have suffered suffered devastating knockout losses to him Ped Redis knocked out with a beautiful left hook in a WBC international title fight of course, in March of last year, Wayne Braithwaite also KO'd in the first round, Adam Watt. See there, Brian McMahon issuing a warning there to Tosca Pedritas for punching on the break. Watt's going to have to be very wary of that. He's leaving himself open to that left hook, keeping his right arm perhaps a little bit low. One would think the longer the fight goes, the better the chances are for Adam Watt. Ted Redis there, winding up with the left, ripping to the body. Both 
Both fighters throwing punches with bad intentions. What just pouring with the jab, looking for that big right hand straight down the tube. Redis, they're digging to the body, burying his attack. And what they're looking for the uppercuts on the inside. What's circling around the ring, looking for the lead right hand, wasn't quite there for him. Quite the mayhem we saw in the first round. Two big punches there from Watt. Pedritas continues to march forward. Beautiful. Oh, and another straight right hand there from Watt. You can see the head of Pedritas snapping back. Draws a smile from Ped Reedus, but the one place that would be hurting him is on the judges' scorecards. A beautiful right hand there. Back comes Ped Reedus with the left hook. He may have Watt in a spot of bother as he backs into the ropes. What a fight this is proving to be as the bell ends round number two.